All right, today we're just gonna get out and do a little POV street photography. That's it, walk around, my goal is five shots, and we'll see, it's early. Not very many people out, but we'll see. You're a beautiful person and you're a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. I'm gonna provide a little voiceover to kind of show you what I was thinking. Here I started on the roof of a parking garage, and of course we have the harsh, harsh sunlight this morning which means my shutter speed was pretty high throughout, but I'll kind of point out some of the adjustments I made. Here, these are just warm-up shots, and it actually took me a while to figure out I had left my ISO so, so high, which you obviously don't need in harsh sunlight. Uh, there was a man in the stairwell here, and it was uh, a little struggle to get past oh, him. excuse me. I happened to hold the camera back Sorry, behind me and click off that one shot as I turned the corner. Thank you. Uh, there's a famous uh, landmark. I can pass up the mural of Kobe in downtown Santa Ana. And as I head to the street, I noticed I love the architecture and I had kind of mapped out a two mile route um, that would take me a loop around several city blocks. And I noticed that my <laughs> attention was drawn to the architecture and you'll hear, see me turn north and face this uh, mural across the parking lot. Uh, there weren't a lot of people out, and so I found, I was looking at leading lines of buildings and streets and alleyways. Uh, this was a fun shot here. The, uh, the mirror on the side of the building and catching my reflection. So I caught myself doing self-portraits with shadows and reflections a few times. A lot of buildings and architecture, like this uh, path going into the garden by these apartments. And honestly, these are okay, but I felt really sort of disappointed how empty the city was. And I, um, here I adjusted my shutter speed coming up, slowing it down right there. One of my favorite shots coming up, the shadow of the tree over the man across the street. And then as I walked south, I could see there's a car wash on my left and I could see a residential neighborhood coming up. And one of the first things that caught my attention was the light coming through the Santa sort of decoration on top of the, the house. Um, didn't turn out that great, but it was just a kind of cool, cool little uh, glimpse of life. Um, the big aware of the dog sign was fun. And then I did a series here along the fence. Nothing incredibly um, artistic or moving. I'm looking for emotion and sort of capturing a slice of life. And it was hard when the city was so empty. Uh, I didn't want to shoot a lot of houses because they're private residences, but this architecture was amazing. And um, of course the dog was good. And actually if you zoom in on that shot, the eye is crystal clear. So shout out to the Fuji X100V for getting that. This is one of my preferred shots. I did a little post-processing on that to cool the temperature off. You notice the temperature on most of these shots are very warm. I'm using a preset by David Lopez. I spent all the time kind of going through the city and capturing these shots. I didn't want to spend a lot of time uh, color grading them or fixing them in post. So I just chose uh, one or two presets from David Lopez and put those on there. Now this building was really, really fascinating. It's the federal building. It was catching the sun and it was throwing the light down into the intersection, highlighting the people in the crosswalk. And so that was uh, kind of cool to, to capture. And here, as I was walking back down, I think it's 4th Street or 5th Street, I could see the reflection of the federal building in the water in the gutter and caught my eye and I made my way over to it. And the shot turned out okay, maybe tell me what you think. Um, actually post prosted a little to draw attention to the street light reflecting on the right, bottom right. And uh, you, the, you can actually see the street light still on even though it's probably 7.30 or 8 in the morning. Uh, this is a famous landmark in Santa Ana, Velvet. It's a, a a gay bar and I think they do drag activities activities I'm not that familiar with it obviously um, I love doorways and the architecture here was really inviting to shoot um, now we're trying to we're starting to see people kind of out and about people taking trash cans out this is a cool series focus on the ornaments and then I moved in and tried to put the ornaments kind of as foreground and shoot the building across the street I like how that turned out and again, here I'm just ending 
wrapping back up. I know I'm heading back to the car and there's not much more. I'm really disappointed at this point. And then I see this guy standing uh, along the bricks down and he's kind of got this arch of greenery or leaves above him. That's my first shot of him. And just continued to kind of work my way down towards him. I really liked how his shadow was playing off the building. And actually the shadow of the little brick sticking out right there um, as texture. And then as I passed him, I shot again. And, you know, it's a moment like this where I'm warmed up. The uh, camera settings are all dialed in. And, you know, 40 minutes in, I'm ready to actually have something to shoot. And, yeah, the camera settings were, were pretty spot on on that one. A couple of shots here coming up. Uh, but I'm going to put up my favorite five and you can comment below and tell me which favorite five. Just give me a timestamp or describe the picture. And thanks if you got anything out of this. So it's my first time doing POV street photography and I really enjoyed it. Um, I want to thank David Lopez for the presets, uh, which I purchased from him and also the inspiration. He does videos like this, so you should check out his channel. I've been wanting to do POV street photography for a while. And uh, really glad that I did. Thanks for sticking around. See you in the next video. If you liked any part of this video, give it a like. And if you have a favorite photo, leave it in the comments.